Hi guys, this is Jones, Jones Fitness and Outdoor. So, overnight camping or overnight hiking, whatever you want to call it, when you spend at least one night out in the woods or on a mountain or in the desert. But for me, it's all about the woods. What do you need to do it? Well, I guess you can imagine, or yeah, I mean, you can think about some things. I would say you need proper hiking gear. If you plan to spend the night, you need boots, you need, well, no specific brand or stuff like that, but you need pants, guys, you need socks, you need a jacket, maybe you need some rain cover, you need a backpack. You know what you need for your backpack? You need a rain cover for your backpack as well. You never know when it starts to rain. And you need some things more. You need a sleeping pad, you need a sleeping bag, maybe a tent or a tarp. But all those things, I guess you can just figure them out. But what do you think you need more? You need a way to start a fire. Maybe matches, lighter, a fire steel. Yeah, so a guy just last week, he used a magnifying glass to start a fire. Well, then you need the sun, of course. Anyway, you need at least one way to start a fire. I would say you need more, you need two ways, matches and a lighter maybe, matches and fire steel, just go for two, when in doubt go for two. What do you need more? You need water, you need food and you will need some sharp objects a knife, maybe an axe, you need to make firewood, or maybe you need to make firewood. And that's enough, so to say. If you, if you might need it, you need it. It's a bit different to be out during the night, because let's say you go for a hike, two hours four hours. Maybe it starts to rain. Maybe it gets cold. I mean, four hours in the rain and cold, you will survive. But to spend a night out in the woods if it's wet and cold, yeah, that might, uh, might turn out bad. So you need ways to make fire and you need protection. You need a tent, or a tarp, or, I mean, maybe you have the skills to build a shelter, but if you have those skills, I don't think you're watching this video. And what do you need, guys? Sorry, I have a dog here, so I just, well, we played a bit, so I have, like, dog hair all over my hands. Anyway, when you bring sharp objects, like a knife or an axe, you also need some first aid kit or gear. It's super easy to cut yourself. Actually, I cut myself today. I was just trying out a new axe. Removed the cover from the axe and I cut my finger. That wasn't too bad, but yeah, you need to stop the bleed and you need to keep your wounds clean. It's easy when you're at home, just wash your hands. But when you're outside and maybe you need to make firewood, you need to cook, you need to set up a tent, you need to be able to keep your small wounds clean. That's very important. So. 
what else do you need? Do you need a map? Well, depending on where you are. If you have cell service all the time and you know that your phone has a battery that will last for days, well, maybe you don't need a map, but a map is good. And when you have a map, maybe you need a compass as well. So, I would say those are the things that, that you need to consider, at least. I'm not saying you need a map and compass to go out and set up a tent. But it is depending on where you do it. Do you know the area? Do you have cell service? Is it close to your car? I mean, if you're like 15 minutes from your car, maybe you don't need a map. But just to get started, guys, to go out camping, those are some of the stuff that I would say you need. And depending on your budget, you can get cheap stuff or you can get really expensive stuff. But the, the most important thing is that you do it if you want to do it. You have to build your skills. I mean, you don't go out and, I mean, you can do it. I guess people do it, but don't do it. If you're interested in camping and hiking, don't plan a weekend of hiking and camping. You need to build your skills and you need to build your experience of the woods. You can go out once, everything turns out fine. Go out the next time, you're freezing. You mess something up. Let's say it's freezing. Your fingers are cold, you can't keep your, your warmth. And you want to make a fire. It happened to me during the winter. Fingers are cold. I can't really feel my fingers. Cut myself. Start to bleed. I don't notice. Well, I had first aid gear with me, so there was no no real worries. I'm just saying that stuff happens. So you start out doing a hike, doing a longer hike, spending one night and so on. So just some ideas what you need and how you build up to it. Thank you for watching guys. Leave a comment, tell me I'm wrong if I am. Anyway, hope you find this video useful and maybe entertaining. Thank you for watching and stay safe.